In this lesson, we are going to install some important and useful VS Code extensions. The first extension we're going to install is JavaScript ES6 code snippets. Click on extension icon, type JavaScript ES6 and press enter. And the first item is this. Click on green install button if you haven't installed it already and also check some snippet that it provides for you for example if you want to import something what you need to do is to open your javascript file and instead of typing import and then name of the package you're gonna import type imp and press tab second vs code extension ES7 React Redux GraphQL React Native Snippet. In this lesson, we are not going to use React Redux and other frameworks at all, but using ES7 provides some useful snippets that we can use them in our pure JavaScript e-commerce system. Click here, like the previous one, type ES7 React, and it's gonna be at the very top. And here there are list of all snippets that you can use. For example, you can use for of syntax like this. Open your server.js and here let's say you are going to create a for of type fof and press tab and it just provides ready for loop for you to move forward. That's it for the second one. The third one is very important. It's prettier if format your code, provide indentation, fix syntax issues and stuff like that. Type prettier and here it's code formatter. After installing this, prettier provides some coding rules for you and when you save your file, it apply those rules to your code. If you remember from previous lesson, ESLint do the same thing. So using Predior and ESLint together provide some problems. To fix these problems, what you need to do is to install ESLint config Predior. To do that, open your terminal and install this npm install dash d eslint config prettier after installing conflict resolver for prettier and eslint it's time to enable that click here open eslint rc.js and for the extend section as a last item in this array type pre tier so by having this setting if you open a file let's say i'm opening a screen home screen you will not see any errors it just fix all errors about creating indentation making space between items and applying formatting rules if you do not have this, let's say I get rid of this and save it. As you see, there are some errors in home screen, but when you enable it, you see, there is no error at all. Great, we just install the third VS Code extension, the next extension. It's a very important one. We are going to use template retlars in our code very much and using HTML less grammar injections make it possible in our template literal like this one. Uh, we have syntax highlighter. Suppose that we do not have this, you know, to install it, you need to click here, type grammar injection, and the first option is this. Let's see if we do not have it. I just disable it in the home screen.js you will have this, you know, there is no syntax highlighter for HTML elements inside template literals. But if I install it and enable it, what do you see here? You see, 
it just enable HTML syntax highlighter for us. So it's a very important for this course. So in this session, we just install four important extension. The first one is JavaScript ES6 code snippets. Second one is ES7 React, React Native. Third one is Prettier. And also we have installed a helper extension to work with ASLint. And the last one is HTML less grammar injection. By having this, VS Code extension, you are good to code better and faster in this course. For next lesson, we are going to get into code again and uh, the configuration part is done and it's time to start coding again with creating rating component. Until that lesson, bye-bye.